Mexico City. And I already set up the closet for my outfit. I only could pack a backpack with Valeris unless I wanted to pack or pay extra for like a checked luggage. So I've got everything set up in here. And also one thing is like being a traveler, like a female traveler, I feel like you have to check for like hidden cameras and like if you have the space in your luggage, I would definitely like bring like an extra like door stop or like an alarm. So I would recommend booking in somebody else's name, like booking in your boyfriend or like dad and under their profile for Airbnb and then just saying it's like two guests just because you never can be safe enough and never let anybody know that you're traveling alone or that it's just you. Like know where you're staying or like your exact location. Don't let them walk you home. Even if it's a cute boy or another girl, like sometimes you really just can't trust anybody. You just never wanna do the risk. So that's just some of the like safety precautions that I take. So I'm like moving around trying to like find where the good lighting is. Just wandering the streets is so beautiful in Roma Norte. Like there's all these little shops everywhere. It's just vibes everywhere. Like cafes that are really aesthetically pleasing, but like older, really older charming buildings that are run down. Then they're very aesthetic on the inside and they're playing, they're playing music and there's just good vibes and you're drinking and I'm seeing people out with like glass of wine. Like this is just like living life to me. Just, it's so low key here, but yet fun. mysterious like they're not the friendliest but they're not mean either they're just kind of like observing you which is funny i speak a little bit of spanish i'd recommend knowing some like in all the popular spaces they knew english at the restaurants i tried talking to them in spanish and then like they would respond and then i would get lost and then they would just automatically start talking to english like that's about it but yeah that's my thoughts of day one i'm really happy to be here the food was insane it's just so beautiful and vibey and perfect um really excited for tomorrow in the market now in guajara and it's a local neighborhood here the market we're going about 45 minutes away to the next place but most amazing tacos local experience Dalgo, we made a connection between the green and the blue we moved to the left we are in revolution but if you go in the opposite way you can find bellas artes allende y zócalo we are going to finish here, the two, okay?
main area, Centro Historica, and we just went to the Pele um, Belle Artes, which is beautiful. We didn't get to go in, so I'd probably want to come back and go inside and explore. of the Aztec temple right here in the freaking city center. It's so beautiful. But honestly, after eating the street tacos and all of the food, I'm not even hungry. Now we're at this rooftop where we're eating like drinks and I have chips and guac. I just don't even think I need food for like, the rest of the day. And then later I'm going to Lucha Libre, Luca Libre, which is like a big like muchacho, kind of like a fight um, where you see like these two guys like wrestling basically. So I'm meeting there at seven. to the Lucha Libre. We are meeting at a spot for tacos and like a mezcal, like kind of beers. And I just like chilling before. Love R R Roma Norte for how convenient located it is to everything. Like I feel like I can walk to all the restaurants that were the most popular. You can, all the shops are here, close to parks. I feel really safe. So I definitely would stay here. La Condesa is probably like more hipster, like, the couple that I met earlier were staying there, so if you want something more, I guess, romantic, I would say there. about five minutes for a ticket. 
to the castle. That was the entrance down here. And it was only 90 Mexican pesos. Um, so like less than $10 basically. Let me warn you, it is a long way up. Like it is all uphill. I should have worn sneakers. Definitely needed water after that, like 25 pesos. And now I'm catching my Uber to go to Museo Humex and Sumayo. not really interested in it it's just art that's not really speaking to me like smile was a much better i just feel like it was so much more to look at and just a lot more interesting art and besides it being free it's a good time to get away from the heat or the rain So this is the oldest neighborhood in Mexico City. All of this ground is made out of volcanic rock because, I mean, obviously there's volcanoes and like mountains all around Mexico City, and then it used to be a lake here. And then if you go south, there's still those channels where you can kind of see how they used to transport everything through boat through here, through the little channels of water. Buddy here, Coyote. <laughs> so gorgeous here. Plaza de Santa Caterina, the Saint of the Ladybug. Our tour guide is going in to get the churros, and this menu has not changed in like a hundred years apparently. Very excited for the churros and the drink. It's like an oat drink that will go with it. So beautiful.
day around this time, it starts raining out of nowhere. It's really hard. I got some pomegranates at the market after my getting my complimentary tostado and like a passion fruit juice that came along with the tour that I paid for. And now, perfect timing for the rain because I was gonna walk around a little bit, but now that it's raining, I'm just gonna catch my Uber back to my Airbnb.